सो द चैप्टर नेम इज़ आवर होम द अर्थ इट्स चैप्टर नंबर टू फॉर क्लास फाइव जियोग्राफी द सोशल स्टडीज ओके सो एवरीबडी शुड हैव टू ओपन द पेज नंबर फिफ्टीन एवरीबडी शुड हैव टू ओपन द पेज नंबर फिफ्टीन ऑन द पेज नंबर फिफ्टीन वॉट वी हैव ऑन द पेज नंबर फिफ्टीन वॉट वी हैव द फर्स्ट लाइन ऑफ द पेज इज सेंग दैट द अर्थ आउटर लेयर इज ब्रोकन इन टू ग्रेट पीसेस कॉल्ड क्रस्टल प्लेट्स इट्स नॉट अ क्रिस्टल इट्स अ क्रस्टल इट्स नॉट अ क्रिस्टल इट्स अ क्रस्टल रिमेंबर इट्स अ क्रस्टल प्लेट्स सो द ब्रोकन पीसेस ऑफ द लैंड आर कॉल्ड एज द क्रस्टल प्लेट्स सो द अर्थ आउटर लेयर एज यू नो इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी स्टडी देर आर थ्री मेन लेयर्स सो द आउटर लेयर ऑफ द अर्थ इज ब्रोकन इन टू ग्रेट पीसेस इन द बिग पीसेस सो दो दो पीसेस आर कॉल्ड क्रिस्टल प्लेट्स सो साइंटिस्ट बिलीव दैट वंस दीज पीसेस ऑफ द अर्थ क्रस्ट वर ज्वाइन टूगेदर टू फॉर्म अ ह्यूज लैंड मास कॉल्ड पेंगिया ओके पेंगिया इज अज लैंड मास वॉट डज दैट मीन राइट नाउ ऑल द कॉन्टिनेंट्स आर डिफरेंट राइट नाउ ऑल द कॉन्टिनेंट्स आर वेरी मच फार राइट नाउ ऑल द कॉन्टिनेंट्स हैव अ वॉटर बिटवीन द कॉन्टिनेंट्स बट साइंटिस्ट बिलीव दैट थाउजेंड एंड मिलियन ईयर्स ऑफ अगो एट द बैक दैट दीज स्पीसीज ऑफ द अर्थ ऑल द कॉन्टिनेंट्स वर ज्वाइंट all the continents were joined together to form a huge landmass it means that all the continent like antarctica australia america africa all the continents are connected in a such a way that they are making a very big land called the pangaea okay it's a theory scientists believe on that it's a theory scientists believe on that then in greek in greek the word pangaea means all land so seven continents are the biggest continents and when these continents are would be at the same place then that would be the all land alfred wagner alfred wagner was the first person who proposed new idea he gave the new idea a new theory related to that thing he said that that is a separate piece of earth crust were once a huge land mass and they gradually moved apart he said that once in the old times he said that in the old times all the continents and all the countries are together and the, all the lands are together so but slowly slowly the separate pieces of earth crust were once a huge land mass and they gradually moved apart gradually means slow slow and apart means to be cut off so gradually they moved cut off from one land to another this theory is called continental drift theory okay why do we call it continental drift theory because the word is continental the word is continental because there are so many continents there so we are talking about the continent that's why the word continental is there drift means moving drift means moving in the literal word drift is something else but in general meaning drift means the movement as like a car drifting so drift means a movement so the continental drift theory means the continents are moving from their places to another so this theory is proposed or gave by the alfred wagner he gave the idea for this theory that this may be happen so this may be happen and after this but he is unable to give proof explanation he is not able to give the explanation or the proof of his points he is not able to give the proof of his points or explanation for the question that is why and how the huge lands are moved okay everyone is saying okay if this is correct he, what does alfred wagner is saying alfred wagner is saying that all the countries all the continents are together and gradually they are going far they are going apart so but he he only gave that thing verbally but he didn't give any proof explanation for the question what is the question regarding this is why and how why and how these lands are moved if they are moved okay then why and how so later scientists discover more about internal structure of earth when they were studying earth in 1940s and 1950s okay america or all mostly all of the european countries started the research in very early ages why because if you see in 1940s in 1950s okay 
so they are busy in making the new discoveries they are busy in making the new discoveries so scientists discover more about the internal structure of the earth let's see what that internal structure is discovery of mid atlantic ridge was the proof that continents have moved okay what does move mean by ridge the word ridge means by the specific area okay A specific area or the range okay in, in simple word we can say the specific area in that area there are some mountains there are some seas and there are some rivers okay and there could be there could be another ridge let's suppose in that ridge there are some trees there and there are some crops there only okay and in the third uh, ridge there are only volcanoes okay there are only active volcanoes there so ridge can be of any type so in the simple words ridge is like area a specific area discovery of mid atlantic ridge was the proof that continents have moved okay mid atlantic ridge is a submerged the word sub merged means sub means half merge means added so it's half added submerged means half added mountain range from the arctic to the southern tip of africa so in this it's a mountain range mountain range means this area is full of mountains there are mountains in that area so this area contains the mountains from the arctic and the southern tip of africa okay so basically it is containing two things so it's a as a name shows it's a mid atlantic this ridge uh, ridge contains active volcanoes so this ridge also contains the active vol volcanoes magma what is what are active vol volcanoes okay the smoke is coming out from those volcanoes and the magma magma the liquid which is coming uh, coming out from the volcanoes are creating or rises from the ridge to form new crust so the magma which is coming out from the volcanoes are rising from the ridge and to form new crust so that each and every old thing can be down inside it okay and the new solid rock in the form of magma is there okay so everyone now yes yusuf what are you saying i said um I, this lesson our room is yes sorry what are you saying i say this lesson is our room is yes this word is what your voice is not say clear as, uh, say as say you know the the picture what is drawing is about speak slowly please speak slowly your voice is not clear picture which which is drawing in the book yes the picture 2.5 yes yes sir what is mean of this this uh, this picture okay let me explain the picture uh okay let me open the book i don't have a picture right now let me open the book first so that i will explain you there is a picture picture 2.5 it's not a 2.5 is uh yes there is a picture 2.6 on the picture 2.6 what we have okay it's showing if you see in this picture all the continents are there african american north american eurasian antarctica all of them all the lands are with each other all of them are all together all of them are all together but yes. if you see the today's world map if you see today's world map they are very much far away so how they are moved if they are all together then how the continents are moved we are talking on this how they are moved this movement theory is basically the old picture the picture you will see this picture is showing the pangaea pangaea means right now what do we call continent okay continent is a place which is far away the different regions of the world are called as continents so okay. what is pangaea pangaea is the place in the older times it's not right now exists what does that mean it means that in pangaea all the continents are all together so that people can move from one continent to other without going in the water because all of them are one land yes yusuf yes sir i understand now okay that's great okay uh now okay now after after this everyone should have to open the page number 16 everyone should have to open the page number 16 what do we have on the page number 
on the page number 16 the sea floor spread away from the ridge causing the continents to be move apart so the sea floor what happened many areas many areas sea is rising in some areas in some countries so sea can eat that area sea can eat that area by using the water and that area is not usable by the people because that part become the area of the sea so the sea floor spread sea spreads away from the ridge sea the water is making its space out of the sea means away from the ridge causing the continents to move apart let's suppose let's suppose let's suppose listen let's suppose what happen if we have a sea and in if we have a pangaea all the continents are together for example for example there is a water come in between the earth what happen what happen when the water come on the earth it will divide many different things it will divide the one area into two because there is a water in between two areas so one area is become one continent and the other area become the other continent so that's why that sea moves and move make the continents apart for example there is one area and then the water come around in the middle of that area and now that one area become two now that one area become two and that one area become two and in this way sea floor spread the ridge causing the continents to move apart so sea floor spread about 2.5 centimeter per year okay so sea floor the floor the water is moving for about 2.5 centimeter per year means it will move 10 centimeters in four years and move 30 centimeters in 12 years so it is moving very slowly but it is moving this discovery led towards the acceptance of wagner's continental drift theory so people discovered that the sea is moving is changing its place 2.5 centimeter per year so everybody is saying that sea is changing or increasing its place by 2.5 centimeter per year so this this when this this thing is discovered what happened this discovery led towards the acceptance of wagner's continental drift theory because wagner is saying say the same thing okay so the earth is not one solid mass it is not a one solid mass it is made up of three layers okay these three layers are core mantle and the crust these three layers are core mantle and the crust yes abdul rahman hazim Yes, Abdul Rahman Azim, you are asking something. Uh, you can unmute yourself. Sir, some scientists say that the, the continent will, uh, will, ca sorry. will make. Some scientists say uh, the, the Banja will meet will meet again the continent. Okay, the word Pangaea or the Pangaea both are correct. Okay, yes, you are saying what? So sometimes the scientists believe that Pangaea is what? Your yes. question is not completed. I didn't hear the full question. Okay. Here I say, uh, the, some scientists, uh, scientists say the, the, twenty, the continent will uh, will make will, will form Bangia again Bangia or Bangia oh yes yes you are right it's a theory right now it's a theory right now if it is possible then it would be a new world if it is possible yes you are right some people will still will say that in future maybe it will happen in future because there is a time the continents are moving far away 2.4 2.5 centimeter far away moving each year so at that time maybe they will cross each other and after covering the whole earth they will meet with each other so this is a theory this is one of the theory yes this is this is possible according to the scientists this is possible okay so abdul uh, it's ahmed abdul latif ahmed abdul latif yes sir how the the scientists realized that it 
it, the account is smooth 2.5. Okay, okay, I will tell you. Okay, Ahmad Abdul Abdul Latif asked a very good question. The question is saying how the people or the scientists will know that the water is moving because they put the equipments, they they test the sea, they do the study every day. Okay. In the way, let's suppose, let's suppose, what do we do? Let's suppose how we do, how we, how they study. Let's suppose how we know that sun will drink our water. How? You can put the water in the cup. Okay. Put the water in the cup and put a mark, put a mark with the help of marker, put a mark with the help of marker, the level of water. Okay. And put the cup in the sun, sunlight. Okay. After 20 minutes, go and check what is the water level it is down or up and if the water level is down again you can mark so after one hour again go and again check the water level is more down or again in increase so again mark it if you see you are studying the cup you are studying the cup that sunlight is taking the water in the form of vapors so water is flying and goes away in the form of water, uh, vapor towards the sky. So you are studying it in this way, in the same way they studied the things, they put some equipments here in this example, you use the cup and the water and they use some electrical equipments to measure these things. Okay. So that's why they came to know that 2.5 centimeter, the earth, uh, sorry, the continents are moving according to the water. Okay. Mohammed Al Sayyid, what are you saying? Mohammed Al Sayyid. Okay, Abdullah Khalaf is there. Abdullah, I remember you are asking for the question in the last class. Should I show yeah. you the question? Should I show you the that question, the Big Bang question? You are saying you did it yeah. right. You did, you did that question wrong. Okay, should I show it right now? I forgot to tell you at that day, I am showing you the answer and you left the class. So should I show it you right now? No, sir. But sir, uh, because like, you attempt the wrong the... question, you gave the wrong answer and you are saying you gave the right answer. You are saying again and again that you gave the wrong answer and you are insisting that you say the right answer. And when I am showing you your wrong question, you left the class. So should I show this question to everyone so that everyone can see that you didn't attempt the question? Okay, Abdullah. Abdullah. Sir, I know it, but I leave, sir. Okay. I think you'll punch What is your question right sir, now? Uh, like 200 million years ago, Sorry, the water, uh, sir, like 200 million years ago. Yes. Two hundred million years ago, what happened, Abdullah Khalaf? Yes. Two hundred million years ago, what happened? Okay. Sir, my mistake, sir. Sir, like two hundred million years ago, uh, the, the water level was more or less. Water, water, what? Water level. Water, I am not understanding the word. What are you saying after the water? Okay, now everyone. Okay, Sa Sakhir is there, Sakhir is there, okay. So earth is not one solid mass. It is made up of three layers. Everybody knows it is made up of three layers. What these three layers are? These three layers are core, mantle and the crust. Okay, core, mantle and the crust. Let's see them one by one. Okay, so let's talk about the core. Let's talk about the core. The core forms the center of the earth. The cores forms the center of the earth. Core is in the center of the earth. Core is solid and its temperature is, is as high as 500,000 degrees centigrade. 
so it is not possible for anyone to reach there because there is so much temperature so much temperature even the things the person that the things they are using for digging the ground these things can melt it's so much temperature it's so much temperature the things which are used to dig the ground in the earth these things can be melt if someone is reached at the core so core is the center part or the last layer of the earth now the second one now the second one is mantle this layer is semi liquid semi means half okay semi means half the thing which is solid is sub sub means half and the thing which is in liquid and we have to tell this thing in a half then we have to semi so it's a semi liquid layer semi liquid means somewhere it's a, a solid one and somewhere it is in liquid form so its temperature is as high as 2000 degree centigrade it is also very much hot pieces of earth crust pieces of earth crust float float on mantle earth crust the crust on which we are walking the third layer is the crust on which we are walking the pieces of the earth crust is floating on the mantle mantle is very hot and produce heat it generate much heat and this heat generate convection current and that current moves the plate so the pieces of the world the pieces of the continent the continents are basically the pieces okay pieces of the land mass so these pieces are moved because of the current where from where that current is produced that current is produced from the mantle okay how computer will run because of the electricity because of the current is there okay how microwave will run because of the current it start working how mobile will run, uh, run? it's because of the current the current is in the battery there is a battery in the mobile that battery is generating a current so that mobile is working and mobile is moving and giving you the option to move okay so in the same way when the pieces of the earth the pieces of the land mass got the current from the second layer of the earth it, which is mantle so that after receiving those current the plates or the land mass the technical name of the land mass are known as the plates so plates are moved and leave their places so because of that current the places are moving 2.5 cm each year okay so the third one is the third okay afan is there okay so the third one is the crust the first the innermost layer is core the second one is the mantle and the third one is the crust crust is the outermost layer it is solid it is solid we walk on the crust its thickness varies 5 to 70 km okay so after 70 km the second layer of earth is started it's a mantle and it's very very much hot so 70 km it's much area 70 km is much area it's very much area it took near about 2 or 3 hours to travel if you want to go to uh, to uh, go to 70 km it took near about 2 hours to travel so you have to dig the ground so that you can travel inside the earth for 2 hours so it will take much time much much time and much money and the equipment so it is nearly impossible to dig the ground for 70 or 80 kilometers so the crust is made up of 5 to 70 kilometers it is not continuous continue continuous layer it is not continuous layer but broken in pieces it is not continue that crust is not continue from 5 to 70 kilometer it's in a broken pieces these pieces float on semi liquid mantle and continuously move so some of the pieces this layer is not continue means on our earth all pieces are not same because there are some pieces there are some continents which are very much far away so these pieces are the broken pieces so these pieces are moving and these pieces float on the semi liquid mantle and continuously move why they were moving because they are getting the current from the mantle okay so the crust the pieces of earth crust is called crustal plates so the pieces of earth crust is called crustal plates the first line of the chapter is these pieces of earth crust is called crustal plates so pieces of the earth crust is called as crustal plates right now these plates are still moving but very gradual the word gradual means slowly so our continents are the crustal plates the continents are the crustal plates and they are moving very slowly and right now right now you when you are attending a class 
they are moving right now you are taking a class and listening to me still right now these plates are moving but very slowly and you are not getting anything that the plates are moving or the soil or the trust you are standing is moving you will not getting any idea because they are moving very very much slowly they are moving very much slowly okay so mohammad ahmed mohammad ahmed what are you saying mohammad ahmed yes sir yes sir yes say it say it fast sir, it fast. Uh, sir the, uh, the crust The crust is what? I didn't understand the picture of page number sixteen. The crust is what? Sir, I. What are you saying, Amal? Why you are? I didn't understand yes. page number sixteen. Okay, the... what do you not understand? Tell me the thing. The page Sir, number sixteen you know is the, very big. The earth, the earth. You know. No, the page number is sixteen is big. Not... You can tell me the thing. Tell me the thing which you not understand. There is the page number sixteen is very much big. How I can explain the whole page in the two minutes, five minutes now? Hey sir, my boy. Tell me the point which you not understand, or tell me the thing or the definition which you not understand. Okay, Malik Muhammad. Yes, Malik Muhammad. Okay, Abdullah Khalaf. Yes, Abdullah Khalaf. What are you saying? Sir, how the the place move? How they can move? How they can move? Okay, how they can move? Okay, good, good. I will repeat that point. Okay, how how they will move? They will move because of the current. How your mobile will run? Okay, because of the battery. How your computer will run? Because of the current. Because if there is no current, then your computer will not run. How your car will run? Because the petrol is there. Petrol is generating the energy. and that energy is running the car so in the same way the mental is mental the second layer of the earth is very much hot and it's generating the heat so petrol electricity both of them are the forms of energy so heat is the third form of energy and all the forms of energy can generate the current so mental is hot so much so mental generate the current and because of that current the pieces of the earth the pieces of the crust will start moving the pieces of the crust will start move. how your car will move how your car will car will move from one place to another because you put the petrol or the fuel in your car and your engine will convert that petrol in the energy which is required by the engine so engine will run on that petrol so in the same way that energy runs the car so the petrol energy of the petrol runs the car so the energy of the mental layer runs or move the plates in same way they will move the plates okay mohammad al sayed here here can you hear me say your question fast okay uh, sir can you send this in the course material sorry what are you saying can you send this in the course material because uh, the page number 16 uh, it's very large and i want to make an uh, as anything is small than it can you send this uh, the that you write saying, i am not understanding kindly repeat your sentence okay everyone listen everyone listen after yeah. this right now the earth is moving right now what do you have to do you guys have to do the one assignment there is a one small assignment is there uh, in the class error there is one small assignment is there in the class error you have to do the assignment you can do it in very 2 minutes or 3 minutes everybody should have to do the assignment right now okay uh, marwan marwan is saying something marwan no sir i was going to ask there is an assignment yes assignment is there assignment is there okay malik mohammad malik mohammad what are you saying malik mohammad is there uh, how, how the continents are are going away from each other i told you this thing how they are going away because of the current because when they are getting the current they are moved okay the direction of the current basically directs the continents so because of the current they are moving abdul uh, ahmed abdul latif ahmed abdul latif 
Sir, uh, the 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 mantle, uh, it is uh, it, we see some of it in the volcanoes, right? Yes, it's in the form of volcanoes. Yes, the magma which is coming out from the volcano is the mantle. It's coming out from the mantle layer. So you will see how yes, how, much, mean, how much hot it is. It's very much hot. If someone is go there or inside the magma, that person will die because it's very very much hot. More than two thousand degrees centigrade. And the sir, and the magma comes out sometimes, right? Yes, and it comes uh, out sometimes it... from the volcanoes. Volcanoes are of two types: dead volcanoes and the live active volcanoes. Dead volcanoes are those which are active in the past, but right now they are dead. Means there is no magma inside. But active volcanoes are those on on which the volcanoes are stopped, but there is a magma inside. There is a hot magma inside. So those are the active ones. Okay. So, Yad, Yad, Hani is saying something. Yad, what are you saying? Sir, uh, sir and then. Uh... Abdul, Abdul, Ahmed, Abdul, Abdul, wait, wait. Now, Yad, Yad will ask a question. Yad, what is your question? Sir, the diamond come from the core. Diamonds come? No, not come from the core because uh, digging to the uh, digging hard till the core is not possible. Diamond is in the crust. Diamond is in the crust. It's available in the crust. Or most so, most so the how's the, the maybe maybe how? there is a maybe there is a diamond in the core but nobody knows because no one reached the core, no one reached the core. Uh, how how's the from the crust uh, the diamond they come to our earth? How by digging, we by get digging, it. by digging the ground yeah, they will get the, the they will get the diamonds. By digging they will get the diamonds. Because there are some more questions, there are some more things related to the diamond. In the next lesson, we will see this. We will see this how diamonds sure. are coming and uh, how the coal is made. We will see that in the next class because the, on the next pages there are some details. Okay, so Marwan again asking something. Sir, I did the assignment. Okay, that's great. That's great. That's very well man. Okay, so right now, right now the period timing is over. Period is over. Class is over. So we will meet in the next class. Everyone should have to do the assignment. Okay. So we will meet in the next class. Okay, everyone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye sir. sir.